Volcano experts are keeping an eye on the Philippines. It follows a rise in sulfuric gas levels and lava activity at Mount Mayon. This scene of an active volcano was last seen five years ago in 2001. The aroma is just about as deadly as its magma, sparking heightened unrest in volcano and seismology experts. Ernesto Corpus of the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology says he is keeping a close watch on things. For the past 24 hours, we've been recording more or less continuous tremor episodes and this is being caused by detaching lava fragments from an advancing lava flow from the summit crater. The village of Folvox has been declared a danger zone, including anything within a range of 6 kilometers of the volcano. 7 kilometers down the southeast slope, lava is already flowing. Residents in 8 cities and towns in Al Bay province are warned to pack their belongings and prepare to abandon their homes. Experts say they won't be able to outrun a full-scale eruption, with lava reportedly moving 60 kilometers an hour. But local vegetable farmers are refusing to leave, saying they will continue to harvest crops. Because life is difficult, if we leave, what will we do where they take us? This place is where we get our food. Local schools prepared for the worst, holding an emergency evacuation drill. Wearing handkerchiefs over mouths, dozens of children fled the building as part of the drill. Executive Director of Volvox, Renato Soldium, claims 500,000 cubic meters of material flowed from the crater on Saturday. Lava and burning rocks as big as cars have rolled 800 meters down the slope. Over 300 tremors have hit the region, with 111 recorded last Saturday. One of the worst volcanic disasters was the 1991 eruption of Mount Pinatubo. 720 people died and vast areas were buried in ash and lava.